This waiting. This endless waiting has been my penance. The original penance, as old as the miracle itself. It appointed me first among penitents, perpetual by its grace. Perpetual in awaiting you an eternity. My miracle, heed my prayer. Grant me thine blessing to fulfill thine holy command. <laughs> Dress my body in wounds. Lacerate the tattered parchment that clothes my flesh. For I am the first penitent, and you shall be the last. will. Incorporeal and inscrutable fathers, I am the heir of your all-encompassing light. Devotion itself, embodied in weathered flesh and gilded filigree. Your magnum opus, Though I am crowned with your glory, why do you censure my presence alongside you? What is this obscure darkness of unanswered cries that prevents me from understanding the purpose of my birth? Are the same crimson clouds that heralded my welcome the grave omen of your judgment? If this confrontation is proof of thy dignity of your glory, then so be it.
Doth thou respond to my pleas? With pain? Pain in the flesh. Yet your very flesh I am. Pain in the heart. Yet your heart itself I hold. My punishment will be your sole legacy. And I shall die. I shall die reconciled with the mystery of my birth. The devotion of the many was made incarnate and suffered pain. The affliction cometh to an end. For the icon falls, and with it, the miracle's designs, and its will so capricious. And so you shall ascend, both in body and soul, through dreamed kingdoms, to the holiest of places, to the cradle of all blessings. Safe under our watchful eyes. And once there, you will be captured within the ancient canvas of light and time. The penitence is thus complete. on high welcomes thee. Above, dark clouds gather and swirl in vile serpentine dances. The child is born. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. We are out of stock. Penitent one, we are grateful. Bells chime twice for the vigil. Be and we shall sink into a sea of mourning.
Now you have what you want. Go forth. With those who think they are blessed, go forth. With those who seek forgiveness by looking out rather than in, go forth. With the falsely afflicted and the weak in faith, go forth. Since one of uncompromising will, my brothers and I are grateful to thee. See how they rise as if the weight of their bodies had been taken away from them and with it, their sorrows. The road is now complete. The highest point of this garden awaits thee. 